Hello, hello, it's Tash and Ro. Welcome to or welcome back to It's Saturday, your personal self-care pod where you can escape the work week and unwind with your two besties. No matter what day of the week it is, but for us, it's Saturday. <laughs> Oh my gosh, long time no see, sis. I know, just yesterday. <laughs> Literally, like 12 hours ago. Oh. oh my gosh, it was Super Bowl Sunday. Wow. Dude. That was the best Super Bowl Sunday I've ever experienced, probably because I never actually watched the Super Bowl. Like, I watched the yeah. halftime show. Yes, show, of course. But... Yeah, I haven't, I haven't watched it in, in a couple of years because yeah. normally Matt watches it like with the boys and I just order Uber Eats and I watch the halftime show and like I love that. It was great. But to actually like be included in the plans and like there was us and Eduardo and Rhea and it was so much fun. The vibes was, were sick. Oh my God. Watching it with you guys because every time I had like a question, you guys were there. To, well, I say you guys. Yeah. Mainly the boys <laughs> were there. I answer. was there to answer all the questions. <laughs> answer all the questions. And it was just actually so fun to watch. I don't know if it's always this fun, but like. I had a blast. So I was like, yeah. I'm now a, like a football fan. I'm going to learn all the rules. Like, this is so fun. Yeah, we all were collectively Chief fans. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it was a rough start for them. And then the second uh, half of the game was just electric. And then overtime? Went into overtime. Went into overtime. And they won with like two seconds left. That was crazy. Oh, my gosh. It was electric. Ugh. We got to see Taylor. We saw Blake. We saw... Justin, Justin Bieber, Beyonce, Beyonce, everybody was Alex there. Alex Earl, everybody was there. Yeah. Yeah. And the tickets were crazy expensive. Okay. Guys, if you were trying to get a Super Bowl ticket, it was costing between like 10 and what? Like $80,000. Yeah. And if you wanted a suite, all those people you see in their tiny little suites there, it was at least a million dollars for <sighs> the suite. Crazy. It's insane. And then also, obviously, everyone tunes into the Super Bowl to watch the commercials because... They're like the best commercials. They have celebrities. They're just funny. They're witty. They like push the envelope a little bit. Okay. So I was looking into this. Normally during a uh, football game, not Super Bowl Sunday, just a regular football game. If you want a 30 second commercial, it's almost $900,000, which in itself, like that's crazy. Oh my God. Just a regular Sunday, not even Super Bowl. Jesus. So how much do you think a Super Bowl commercial like cost? like millions like multi-millions then literally a 30 second commercial at the super bowl will cost you seven million dollars but then it's like okay now you're thinking by the second like how much it's costing a second so then people who are writing scripts for these super bowls they have to be mm -hmm. so strategic like every second is costing you every second actually costs two hundred and thirty three thousand dollars. <laughs> i did the math oh my god that's insane that's crazy there was I, I'm trying to think of the Michael Cerave one. That was, was the one so that stood out for me funny. too. And the Beckham's one was pretty good yes. for Uber Eats. Um, we missed out on a lot of the commercials because we were streaming from Canada, I think, right? Yeah. So that actually really sucks. I would love to see all the other commercials. Um, There's yeah, like they were, like, some of them I was like, that was not worth $7 million. There was one that it was just like, these two that kept making mistakes i'm like this is costing you guys so much money oh my god <laughs> just yeah like, <laughs> the whole point was just like that making mistakes i can't even remember what the commercial was about because it I wasn't good but that's crazy oh my god taylor yeah. taylor swift actually killed the outfit i think she looked cute she looked so cute yeah can we talk about how her lipstick like never smudges never smears like it always looks perfect i don't know if she's applying it every five seconds or like I need to know what lipstick she uses. We were like literally talking about this last night. She needs to have a red lipstick line that she comes out yeah. with because she always has red lipstick. When I do red <clears> lipstick, <throat> I am always like, oh my God, it's going to get everywhere. And it does. Like it gets all over my face. Like yeah. I just feel like I you can't, can't kiss. You can't kiss your you husband. Can't eat, you can't drink. Yeah. And I also love that they showed her and she was like pounding back drinks. Like yeah. that was... She's like, I flew all the way from Japan. Literally, guys. She came fresh from Japan. Yeah. That's a really big time difference. That's like a 16-hour time difference. Crazy. Yeah, she that's had wild. She, had she looked great. Travis did a really good job. The only, like, ick was when he yelled at the coach. Oh, and the Viva Las oh. Vegas at the end. I was like, what is happening? Yeah, that was really weird. Dude, Taylor was just kind of like and staring like, at him. She was like, like mm. good job, sweetie. Like, shut up now. <laughs> Dude, he's probably going to be hopping on a plane and going with her to Australia now, I feel. Because that's her next tour. Is I mean, he's off now. So he's he can off. do whatever he wants. Yeah. Jeez, Wild. imagine like the high of like winning a Super Bowl. Like that's crazy. Post Malone also doing the national anthem. Okay, I didn't realize until last night that 
America has two national anthems. I didn't know what that was. Like, one what? for the North and one for the South. I always Seems thought it a was segregated. Yeah. And not national. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? imagine like Quebec had their own national anthem. Oh, wow. They might. <laughs> they Who might. knows? They but, might. They just don't tell us. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. But yeah, oh, Post Malone yeah. was there. That was sick. And then obviously we have to talk about our boy Usher. Oh, okay. You know, I wasn't, okay. I, I was a hater of last year's halftime show. Yeah. I thought Rihanna did it okay job I, lo- I really liked last year too, yeah you, you I liked, liked it. it you liked it i thought she was okay and to be honest maybe it was because i was just watching it at home and there was a, like we weren't with people mm. and i was just kind of like not maybe in the vibe. That and could i be just, it. Like, just turned it on just for that yes so maybe but this year i just felt like it was so good and he killed it he he did a really good job singing, which is oh also gosh. really hard to do with the Super Bowl. Especially with all the dancing he was doing. Like, I'm sorry, Rihanna did not really dance last year. No. So she better be singing really good. But like he was dancing on foot, on rollerblades. Like he was doing the most. The most. It was crazy. Did you see there was a video of this girl on a pole and she f- fully fell off? Oh, but like, like one of the dancers one of the dancers oh, but there's shit. just so much going on at the super yeah. bowl at like a halftime show that you're you don't even know what to look at like you're looking at usher but there's like a million other people around him like you would never even notice that she fell there were people doing like black flips in the background <laughs> literally at the start there were people there was a man standing and there was someone balancing on his head like with her, their hands like doing a handstand <sighs> on someone's head and the chemistry between him and alicia keys like Wait. he was holding her from behind and then someone <laughs> there was this tiktok this guy was like if someone was holding my wife like mm. that, I'd be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I feel like they've definitely hooked up before. Yeah. Like, how some... can they not after doing there's that song together? Yeah. Anyway, and there was other appearances. My personal favorite, obviously, was Ludacris. Because <laughs> I fucking love Ludacris. He killed it. Little John came out. Oh, and then I found out. Oh, my gosh. Who was it? Now I'm forgetting the name, but <laughs> that really short guy came out. <laughs> and Farris was like, yo, was that Timberland? <laughs> was that oh my god i heard it on the radio this morning and i can't remember who the fuck i it don't was. know who that was we were like oh who is why this? clef jean oh, okay i don't know is who that, that it was or did i just make that up i have no idea it and was, there was a girl who came out with her guitar and it, we're like who's that blue ivy <laughs> i know apparently it was like her like her name's her oh yeah oh okay right? i think i've known i know like you know a, her <laughs> it's like h-e-r like uh, like dots like it's like h and then a dot i think so <laughs> You're like, that's how you spell her. <laughs> <laughs> you passed kindergarten. Oh Congrats. My God. No, uh, okay. I think I've seen her like name and songs, but I, okay. I didn't know that that was her. She cr- killed she it. She killed it. She looked really cool. If she was actually, that was her playing the guitar, like slay. Like that was insane. She was killing it. Yeah. So if you didn't like the Usher <laughs> performance, please see yourself out. Because yeah, please. I don't know what more you could truly want because he had the dancing. He had the music. Like I think he was he, stripping. He was, he was giving oh my it God. his all. Also guys, like, he's 45 and he looks 25. He looks the same that he did when I was listening to him when I was 14. He literally, I looked up a picture of him when he was younger just because I was like, there's no way he looks the exact same. Yeah. He has not aged. Like, no, they need to be doing some research studies on him. Yeah, what is Usher eating? What, what is, is he, he drinking? Doing? I want whatever he's injecting. I don't think he's injecting anything, <laughs> but I want it. Yeah, like he looks so he good. He looks so is he, good. Is he married or anything? Like, does he like? I don't think so. I don't think so. Eh? Does he have kids? No. Damn, that know. sucks. Those genes gotta go somewhere, right? He sucks. needs to procreate. Yeah. Forty-five. Looks oh amazing. My God, but, okay, next year, guys. Like now, I'm just ready. We're gonna start studying <clears throat> for football. Yeah, we gotta pick a team. We should do dolphins. Yes, we should do dolphins. Yeah, fins up, fins up. Also, their colors are just so good. It's so cute. They're so cute. Imagine, and then maybe we can go to Miami and go to Dolphins game. Oh, like oh one of the God. first couple of games, and it's not that expensive. Okay, maybe? I don't know. Okay, be fun. I love into it. it. Yeah. I'd be down. Yeah, it's fun when you're into the sport and you're into the game. Yeah. Like, super, super fun. Like, and Matt will make these, like, tiny little bets, like, here and there. Like, literally, like, a dollar here, a dollar there. Like, when I did those parlays. And it just makes you so much more into it, too, when you, are like, have something riding on the game, even if it's, like, $5. A hundred percent. Drake built, built like, bet, uh, like, over a million dollars. Right? The on the Chief. 49ers? No, the Chiefs, I thought. That they would win? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, and he won. Well, <laughs> a million dollars to him is, like, a thousand dollars to us. It's, it's like, like It's like, ooh, that hurts, but, like it's fine it's literally <laughs> tomorrow i'll post on instagram yeah make it back literally <laughs> drop a new album drop a new song it's oh all good <laughs> okay speaking of like money and stuff it was so funny it's the other day i was at the lcbo and it was actually right before my birthday went to the lcbo as we're walking in and i don't know why this always happens to us because i've told you this other story once that this happened to us but there was a guy there's two guys like stealing alcohol and they were at your lcbo at the lcbo here in like the suburbs what? guys it was so random 
they literally were stealing a bunch of alcohol. They were running and the girls were like, get him, get him. And then the security guy came out and he like tackled him and like and like handcuffed him and we were like this is right as we walk in you always witness the craziest shit like you truly do like oh my god this is crazy so anyway that happens i call my mom and i was telling her the story and she goes that's so weird because when she was at the lcbo by like westboro she was like i was trying to find ciroc and i literally could not find it on the shelves anywhere and she was like i had to ask someone and they were like yeah we had to lock it up because we had so many people coming in and stealing ciroc which i'm like steal something better but anyway they were stealing so many bottles of ciroc that they had to now close it behind like glass what the frick and then there's a story that was posted like not that long ago about five thousand dollars worth of alcohol that was stolen in stratford ontario so then oh i'm my like god what the hell is going on with the lcbo and like people stealing stuff like this is is it just because the prices have gone up and like i don't inflation? know inflation but like this all happened and i'm like wait maybe it's just because i've that happened to me and like now i'm noticing these things yeah but i just thought that was so crazy of all the places to steal from i feel like something that's like government run like i would not yeah like i feel like they're gonna take that more seriously than like if i go to like fucking i don't know like one time i was at aldo at rito i don't know if i've told you this story before <laughs> and this guy came in and just stole a bunch of right stole a bunch of purses per- it was oh, not na- it was literally like the store had just opened it was like 9 30 in the morning i was the first customer and this other guy comes he just grabs a bunch of bags and books it out and but- she's like this is the third time it's happened this week like, dude it's like so i thought you were gonna say they just bought they just stole a bunch of shoes i'm like but then it's like one pair of shoes like just the right sh- the right foot and then next week they'll come back oh my gosh no imagine. but honestly like yeah the lady went at the cash when we like went to go pay for our stuff we're like that was crazy eh? like we were trying to talk to her and she was like oh yeah this happened like this has happened all the time she's like i used to work at the one downtown oh boy. she's like that one like and i that I believe- has like police like yeah. usually there's police there often this one doesn't really like i've never even noticed I the never, security yeah. guy like he's kind of slick but and also i'm like we live in orleans like it's not this one's not sketchy she was like honestly like it happens everywhere like there's homeless people coming in just grabbing stuff i'm like that's just crazy i guess if you have nothing like like you have nothing to lose it's like might as well just steal it like (laughs) well i don't know oh my god that's insane tell me about your red bull event that you went to oh yeah okay so we went to trauma this weekend we did another little ski weekend now my pass is like officially like paid off so <laughs> any other ski that i do it's like good for me because girl passes. math it's free <laughs> it's free basically i'm making money now when i ski yeah. um but our friend greg you know greg hamilton yes. uh, he entered this contest it was like this the first ever time they were doing it in canada this red bull contest i forget the exact name of it but mm-hmm. what they everyone had to do that entered it whether you ski or snowboard you have to like hike up one of the mountains like one of the trails like okay. with your skis or with your snowboard And then there's like this like certain trail that you have to do. And like there's like different like obstacles and stuff that you'd have to like try and make your way down and like not fall on your way down basically. (laughs) Literally my nightmare. (laughs) Anyway, so a bunch of people entered it and our friend Greg, unfortunately, didn't win. But he knew the guy that actually like came in first place. And the first place prize was like doing like a helicat like ski or snowboard like tour in some of the mountains out east. So there was a bunch of people up and we actually end up going to Caribou for a bit and we like watched the awards and we Fine. like got to see everyone that won. But the kind of like sad thing was for girls, for snowboarders, only one girl entered. So she like automatically won just by like completing it. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny, but also so sad. So sad. It's so like, funny. I'm like, I should have just entered, but then I'm like, I don't know if I could have been able to do this. <laughs> Imagine you just enter thinking there was nobody else and they're like, ah, actually, yeah. you don't have to do the race. You're like, Mm, shit because it's actually so greg like it's his bread and butter to like hike he he hikes up the mountain like all the time and will ski down it like that's literally what he does it's like he does that for fun which is crazy and even he was like so gassed and so exhausted just from like hiking up hiking yeah all the way up with your in your in your ski boots Boots? oh my god that honestly sounds like hell and then by the time you get up you're exhausted you're like okay now i have to actually ski yeah but it was cool to see like caribou like super busy um just like on a random like weekend it was kind of gave me like a little preview for a caribou cup it got me excited we were like in the basement and i was like oh, this is gonna I'm be s- sick in a couple months i'm so excited for caribou cup yeah it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be really so fun, fun. Mm-hmm. i'm Ooh, so pumped also something i'm excited about guys we're seeing 
DJ James Kennedy. Let's go. He's coming to Ottawa. Tickets were already like selling out by the second. Dude. Like, we're so, lucky to have even gotten these tickets. So originally he was only coming on the Thursday and we had planned on going. And then I was talking to my coworkers because a couple of my coworkers are going as well. Like my like, so teacher friends are going. And I was like, oh, like I want to buy tickets too. Like I should do it. Like I need to like buy them now. So I went to the website, sold out. And I was like, bro, we missed it. Devastating. Then a few days later... He has a Wednesday show now because the demand, I guess, was so high for James. What I want to know is, okay, so I don't even know where the, the venue is. Where is it? Bronson Center. So okay. it's literally on Bronson. I've never so been there. So it's probably like a 10-minute drive from my house. Okay, amazing. Yeah. It's and it's close. like a small little venue. What kind of songs is he going to play? I just don't know. I don't know. I don't care. He's just going to play like the Vanderpump song, like the theme song <laughs> over and over. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just like, no, 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 no. I'd be uh, super down for that. So yeah, me, Romina, and Hannah are going to that. And then... Honestly, it kind of worked out that it's a Wednesday because I'm like, okay, well, now it's wind down Wednesday. Yes. So why don't we just like, because it's over at 11, which is like kind of early if yeah, after he, like going to a show. He's making his way around Ontario though. Remember like uh, Carly said that he's going to like, oh yeah. Where has she been? Barry? Like, Barry, Ontario. Yeah. I'm like, dude, this guy's just anywhere but that think, takes like, him. But think like 40 bucks, it's 50 bucks a ticket yeah. and like you sell out like these shows like, he, and if it's these tiny little venues, I'm sure he's not paying a lot to like actually use the oh, venues. So, smart, yeah. so he's probably making a decent amount of money. Yeah. I mean, he has to pay off that house that he just bought on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the airport. Did they buy? Did they buy it? Yeah, they, they bought, bought that. It. Oh yeah, shit! I thought they were that. renting. No, I'm pretty sure they bought the house. Oh damn! Yeah, it's so funny though. The first episode of VPR, if you guys didn't watch it, like they're like, "Yeah, this is our house. It's so quiet. <laughs> it's literally by the airport. Every five <laughs> seconds, all you hear is shh." Like, yeah, that's actually kind of brutal. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want that. But they yeah. have a nice pool, nice yeah. backyard. Cute. And yeah, guys, we're Hopefully super we'll excited. get to meet him and it'll be a story for the pod. We'll yeah. just be like, hey, we have a pod. <laughs> you no, we on? should actually DM him before. We're yes. like, hey, we have a podcast. Like, if you want to no, give guys, us like. <laughs> guys, go and DM James Kennedy. Be like, go on, it's Saturday. Yeah. That would be That'd be insane. If he actually came on. Crazier things guys, have happened. Honestly, crazier things have happened. <laughs> okay. This is so random, but I was thinking the other day. I don't know how this came up, but I was thinking the other day how there's no like slang or short form for the word notification. Think of how often you use the word notification or notifications. It's such a long word. Why don't we have a slang word for it? And then I'm like, it's noty. Noty? Yeah. Do people use that? I've said it. Okay. Well, what if what? we said notif? Notif. So think, okay, just picture <laughs> this, picture this, picture this, picture this, okay? Picture this. You're like, you just opened your phone and you have all these notifs. <laughs> or, or you're, you're texting your friend, you go, sorry, I, I, didn't, I had my uh, D&D on, I didn't get any notifs, I didn't see my phone. <laughs> Noti? Noti. Why didn't I see this in my Google search when noties. I was looking it up? Do you have any noties? Okay, but notifs sounds better. No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> oh my god, we disagree. I think you're so guys, silly. Guys, tell us if you think yes. notifs are better or notifs. We're gonna make I a think poll. Notifs. No, it's like, oh, do you have no any notifs? notifs? No notifs. <laughs> notifs. <laughs> oh my god, I okay, love this. Well, no, this is hilarious. You know we'll what? see what people are saying, and we'll, we'll actually, see. We'll do like an open little question to like, well, how would you abbreviate notifications? Because that's so no many notifs, syllables. No notifs notifications that's notifications. five syllables i've never used the word noti in my life okay i've definitely used it <laughs> <laughs> i've never used notif notifs i have no notifs i have no notifs no noties <laughs> <laughs> and you're like i hate it <laughs> meanwhile i'm sitting here i'm like i'm so excited about this slang oh is this what you're gonna up with? the thing you wanted to Dude, tell me and fires one night we were like we just came up with the new slang word. Like, watch. It's going to blow up. Notifs. We we're like literally looking it up. We're like, like UrbanDictionary.com. No, no, we're like Urban Dictionary notification. Noties did not come up. Really? I swear I've so, heard noties. Maybe you made that up. But Probably. Maybe. Okay. Well, either way, we're going to start saying both of them and then we'll see what takes off. No notifs, guy. No notifs. Stop trying to make notifs happen. <laughs> no, literally. Ramina. And then the, like the past like a few days, we've been we've been just using oh. it. Like we're like, oh, so like, did you have, did you get my notif about this? Or like, okay, I, I didn't get any notifs about this. And then Farza goes, okay, we got to stop trying to make this notif thing I'm happen. We're dying. like, we're like stop trying to make fetch happen. I'll like, like slowly try. I'll say, I'll use both with Matt and I'll see yeah. like which one he's, uh, which one he picks up that i'm putting down yeah, no that's notes. so funny <laughs> oh my gosh also guys at the super bowl i finally got to try the holy confections guys 
if you haven't tried Holy Confections, it's I think there's a f- only a few places in Ottawa that have it, but essentially it's this like small brand that opened up in Ottawa. I think their first location was like in Manatech or Barhaven so, or yeah. something like that. It's essentially a cronut, so it's a croissant donut, but they're not technically allowed to call it a cronut yeah. because the guy who invented cronuts in 2013 in France like trademark the name smart trademark notice just like (laughs) corona you get the notice about the cronuts (laughs) literally anyway he trademarked the name corona so they're not allowed to call it that but it's it is a corona like that's the recipe but they just went on dragon's den like literally like last week the episode just aired and they got two of the dragons to sign a big deal that's huge and they're about to franchise so we were when we went we found that like there's a place there's a location in orleans that recently just opened so we went And the owner, his daughter was the one who started this holy confection. So he was telling us all about it. She's like, he was like, yeah, she's an interior designer and works like with a lot of like the senator's wives and stuff and designs their houses. Oh my God. One time he went, she went to like Nashville or something and tried a Krona and was like, oh my God, this is so good. Came back to Ottawa and noticed that there was no place selling Krona. Nowhere. Never even heard of it. So then she was like, I'm going to open up my own Krona place, called it Holy Confections and then boom. I really like the name and I really like the packaging. Like the box, like the black and the pink is like really, really cute. And the ones I had last night were insanely good and like the actual store themselves because she's an interior designer she like made it really cute of course on the inside so it's like really like feminine and like i don't know cute are there a lot of options when you go so last time i went me and farzan went we went too late and they literally they sell out every day so they make fresh batches every day in the morning and then by like 2 3 p.m they're sold out so when we went there was like literally like six or seven donut stuff cronuts left so we literally got all of them and then yesterday when we brought some to the super bowl he went earlier and just like picked okay. them out. so i don't know how many there were wow. when he went but no they're so good so good yeah so i really decadent. like it yeah um what if they call them instead of cronuts yeah doissons <gasps> doissons like donut croissant doissons dude we're just trademark on that. our trademark yeah, shit. Honestly, we'll copyright put that, that shit. Put that on a shirt. If you, if I ever quit my job, I'm becoming a copywriter. That's what <laughs> yeah. I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's jump into I'm sorry because there's just one big thing that we're both extremely sorry about this Oh my week. God, I can't wait to rip Let me just this. sip some of my tea right now because <laughs> this, this tea is piping. It's piping hot. Yeah. And maybe we've mentioned this before, but I'm sorry, but fuck WestJet. Fuck WestJet. They're the worst. F-U-C-K. Yeah. WestJet. Yeah. We're done with them. We're done. They literally gave us a heart attack on Sunday. So Matt and I were done skiing and we decided before we head back, we're going to like, let's go in the hot tub and just like relax. Like we just did all the skiing. Like, let's go in the hot tub. We're getting out of the hot tub and I'm finally looking at my phone. I see this message from Hannah. You get a notif from Hannah. <laughs> I, got a, I got a notie from Hannah. <laughs> I checked my noties. <laughs> And okay, and then also this is gonna do give the batch reveal, but I'm doing my batch run in Vegas, guys, because I'm that fucking bitch that's getting married in Italy and has to do her batch in Vegas, apparently. She's main character. <laughs> yeah, we're doing main character to Leo Energy. So we've booked our flights to Vegas like what, a month ago? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going in July and we found this awesome flight. It was a great price flying from Ottawa to Vegas. There was a bit of a little layover. We went to like Vancouver and then to Vegas. We were leaving like what? Like at like six AM getting there at noon. So yeah. It wasn't like crazy. We were leaving early, arriving early to make the most of our day. And then we were leaving a bit later at like 1 p.m. on Sunday. So yeah, we could get home like at a decent time. Guys, Hannah sends us a message in a group chat being like, oh my gosh, did WestJet email you guys and change your flights? And I'm like, fuck, like we're on the same flight. I must have gotten this notey as well. <laughs> Check my email. <laughs> they did not just like change our flights. They changed it so drastically. They changed our trip. They changed our trip. They took away a whole day, essentially. Basically, we ended up leaving even earlier, yet somehow arriving later. Instead of leaving at like 6.30 a.m., we're now leaving at 6 a.m., flying to Calgary instead of Vancouver. We have an eight-hour layover. Layover And getting to freaking Vegas at like 9.30 p.m. The day's over. The day is done. And then... And then... The day we're leaving, which is literally, our, so think like your last night in Vegas, you're going to party hard. Yeah. We're leaving the airport. Like we're leaving at 8 a.m. on the on Sunday. Sunday and we're getting home at like, it was like, I don't know, 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. Like yeah. it was crazy. It was like both. They were like 17 hour travel days now. We're like, I'm sorry. What? What do you what? mean? 
And it's like, oh, do you wish to accept this flight? Like, click here. Or like, if you want to cancel, like, you're going to have to call and like be on hold for 13 hours. So we're like, okay, like, we're trying to find like, is there another WestJet flight? We're looking, we're looking like there's literally nothing else. Like, there's no other flights from Ottawa. WestJet like, doesn't even go to Vegas. Like, this is, this was the random flight that went to Vegas. But yeah. like, yeah. The random, I, affordable, amazing yeah. flight. And then all of a sudden they were like, Pfft. We're yeah. going to cancel that. I didn't even get a notice about this. That's the worst. <laughs> That's the craziest thing where we didn't get a notice about it. <laughs> I love how we're just like, we're, no, 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 no. No, literally, guys, I didn't even get an email about it. Yeah. So I was like, wait, maybe my flight. Like, maybe hers is fine. And no, I go on the app and it's it's been changed. They just didn't send me an email about it. But anyway, it's just honestly, guys, like this is now... You've had a bad experience with WestJet with yeah. Matt and his like leg situation. I've had a bad experience with WestJet because for my bachelorette, we were supposed to be going to Vegas. Obviously, COVID happened. We didn't end up going. They changed our flight like literally to make it like a crazy travel day. We had like a 24-hour layover. Deja vu. Like 24-hour layover. I think they saw your name and there was like, oh, this girl again? Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's do this again She's to trying her. to go to Vegas, isn't she? She's <laughs> never going to go to Vegas. Mm-mm. So we were supposed to have like a 24-hour layover, all this stuff. This is like when lockdowns are happening. So I canceled the flight on the app because it was like, you either accept or cancel. And I was like, okay. I'm obviously not doing this And at this point. Like, we were postponing our wedding. Like everything yeah. was going to shit. So I'm like, I'm just oh going to cancel gosh. this. Canceled it. Little did I know if you had canceled it on the app, there was like some clause that like now it's only a travel credit. You had to have called them to get your full refund. That wasn't made apparent to me. There was no notif about it. And so I was like, what is going on? Anyway, long story short, they screwed us over, just gave us credit. So shitty. But now this exact same thing, I'm like, deja vu, man. Deja man. vu. And it was just f- kind of funny, but not funny because Romina booked right through the website. I booked through my points and <laughs> Hannah booked through Flight Hub. So we all have to like go through different people to deal with this. So we're all on hold like for several different times. Like eventually it all worked out. I'm going to get my points back. I'm you got all your money back. Out. Hannah's getting your money back. We're going with Air Canada now and... We're going to get our airplane. Like it's all going to work out. I'm... I. T- Record this. I am never flying West Shed again. Never. Never. I'm, they're like I'm they're done. banned. They're we're banned done. for me. Bye. No. Bye. I have the mega egg and we're done. We're done. So do you buy lottery tickets ever? No. Okay. Like you've mm. never bought one? I've bought one before, but I'm not a frequent buyer. <laughs> okay, so a lot of like my coworkers are and like I'm not i I'm not really am, but sometimes I'm always like, Oh, like what if they win and like I don't. So Dude, I kinda... one of my friend one of my coworkers that used to work with me at Sochelle won the lottery. Really? How she, much did they win? I think she won I think it was like to a couple million that's amazing yeah, yeah. okay because so. there are like so many more things that are likely to happen more likely to happen to you than winning the lottery and i want to go over them because yes. some of them are hilarious <laughs> one you have more chances of being murdered than winning the lottery yeah i believe it american nightmare yeah american right nightmare. <laughs> true being abducted and being put abducted. Up, <laughs> putting a <laughs> goggles, goggles all yeah. over your face <laughs> you have more of a chance of being crushed by meteorite than winning the lottery. Crazy. You actually have more chances of becoming a billionaire like, <laughs> than winning the lottery. So if you actually just woke your ass up and went to work, <laughs> put in some get work, your, get your you, might get, work. you might get there a little faster. It's too funny. Mm, you're more likely to die in a plane crash mm. than win the lottery. Yeah, especially if you're flying WestJet. <laughs> <laughs> especially if you're flying WestJet. <laughs> You're more likely to be killed by hornets, wasps, or bees. Oh my God, I believe it. So that's a one in a 54,000 chance versus Jeez. like one in however many million for the lottery. Oh. Um, what's a couple of other ones? Well, you're more likely to get audited than win the lottery. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been audited? Uh, no. I've never been Thank audited. God. You are more likely to have your identity stolen, which... Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, we have that happens that. more often than you would think. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, so, like, don't buy lottery tickets. <laughs> don't buy lottery ticket. <laughs> Just, all in all, yeah. don't buy lottery ticket. And if you do and you win, you're very lucky. You're very lucky. That's Damn, what, that's crazy. Isn't that insane? I feel like buying lottery tickets is such a mo- not millennial, but like old people thing, you like know a know boomer I mean? thing, like a boomer thing. I feel like yeah. the younger generation is not buying lottery tickets. I wouldn't even like. I don't even know how to buy. They're one. like entering giveaways on Instagram, but they're yeah, not, <laughs> they're not buying. Lottery like people tickets. go in there and like there's like all these numbers. I'm like the encore and this and that. And I'm like, I don't understand, dude. But I, I know understand. the sound that it makes, like na 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 na. Yeah, <laughs> but never won. No, never won in my life. That's so it's funny so though. Random. Oh my god. Okay, I want to talk about 
the rebrand of the century. Have you seen Toyota is coming out with obviously new cars for 2024. Mm-hmm. Prius. Yes. Had such a glow up. Yes. The 2024 Prius. I don't know if you've seen it. Prius got her braces off. Oh, and she's she, glowing. Yeah. She is. Her fierce. braces are off. She got boobs. Yeah. She's looking like a Tesla. <laughs> she went to the she went to the plastic surgeon and was like, make me look like a Tesla. Got her BBL. Be, got her BBL. Yeah, no, it's uh it's pretty crazy. It's crazy it's how a sexy different car. it looks. It's sexy now. And it's isn't it very, very environmentally friendly yeah, as well? And like great yeah. on gas. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well it's hybrid, hybrid. hybrid, yeah. hybrid. But like it, people, it went from people being like, you drive a Prius to like, ooh, you drive a Prius. Yeah. Like, so people were listening in their offices, clearly. Yes. Like Prius was like the <laughs> like center of so many jokes, I feel like in so many movies. Like, you know, like the other guys. How yes. Will Ferrell has a Prius. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Prius, is, they they did her dirty. But yeah. she's back. She's back. And we love a glow up. Yeah. She got some lip filler. She got a poop job and she's looking good. <laughs> Braces are off and teeth are straight. Mm. I would oh have a Pri- I would want a Prius. Honestly. I drive one. I drive one too. They're affordable too, no? Way for- more affordable than Teslas. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like a Tesla at this point. It does. It looks so cute. We love. Love it. So Prius, if you're listening, <laughs> or Toyota, send us one, please. Send us Thank one. You. We'll test it out. <laughs> we'll review it on the pod. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Also, fun fact that I learned too um, about Taylor Swift and the NFL, and this is hopefully will be the last thing we talk about in regards to Taylor Swift and the NFL. But apparently she's generated around $351 million for the Kansas City Chiefs. Dude, I believe it. She was on... Okay, so you know how like there's this like preview poster of like the NF, uh, the San, Stanley Cup. God, I don't even know what I'm talking about. The, um, what, were, what did we watch? The, the Super, Bowl. Super Bowl. What did they win? They the win some sort of... The, no, like the poster like to like display it. Yeah. If, like when you go to click it, it was literally a picture of Usher... A few Kansas City 49ers and then literally Taylor Swift in the corner. Like oh she's gosh. not even like performing or anything. No, but she's just it, going. She was literally in like the advertisement or like yeah. poster of I've, the Super Bowl. So many Swifties have probably bought like merch for Kansas City. Honestly, I could see Alex Earl also doing that for the Dolphins. Like she oh, probably generated she, me. so 100%. much. Matt got me our, my Christmas gift yeah. was Dolphins merch Yeah, um, because of her. Well, they him. should be getting some money from... Yeah. All of the money that they're regenerating for these men. Right? <laughs> Get a little cut of that. $351 million. Dude, that's insane. That's wild. Ugh. It's like her own lottery over there. She's just Taylor Swift. Oh just my God, I know. God damn. Honestly, crazy. Um, Did you hear about this whole Stanley Cup lead thing? Okay. I accidentally forgot my Stanley. Was this a good thing? Like, what's going on? No. Okay. So I actually looked into it. There's so many. Okay. This is the issue with our society these days is like, there's these like articles where it just says Stanley Cup linked to lead. And like, nobody is reading the article. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes. You have to like click the link and sometimes you have to buy the article or buy the subscription. Anyway. So I saw a few of these articles being posted and I was a little concerned because I'm like, I just bought my Stanley. Like, yes. is there actually lead in it? Like, yeah, what is going, what's on? going on? So we did some research and like actually read the articles and it turns out. So I'm not justifying Stanley by any means because I think it's weird that they're even using lead because like lead has been linked to so yeah. many bad things. They should have looked for another material. But essentially at the bottom of every Stanley, like underneath the sticker, there's like a little, so if you have like one of these thir- Stanley thirst quencher things, if you look at the bottom, there's this almost like an indent that can get popped out. Okay. okay. And that's where like the insulation of the cup gets put in inside of that there there's like a material that contains lead. Mm. And so if you're ever in a situation where at the bottom of your Stanley cup feels like it's kind of coming apart <gasps> and like it, that part is being exposed yeah. then definitely stop using it. Stanley has a lifetime of warranty. So you does can, it? yes, it does. It does. Oh my God. So if you go on the Stanley website and you say like this happened, they have to send you a new one. So just know that. Mm hmm. So just be careful. Like the, it does have lead. It You're not drinking lead. Like it's no. not getting exposed unless yeah. that p- p- part at the bottom actually gets popped out. So people on TikTok and stuff like 
they purposely popped it out okay. to show people and like what, what it looks like. It's just honestly, it looks just like a little bit of metal at the bottom. Okay. So just don't touch it if that happens. Like don't obviously like rub rub it on your face or something. Like just, yeah. just throw it out don't and get it. a new one. Um, but you're not like ingesting lead if you're just using it regularly. Yeah. Like it shouldn't happen. And Stanley did come out with a statement just saying like, and that's why it's so heavy. Like that's okay. one of the reasons why it's so it's heavy. Lead. And it's just weird because like Yeti and all the other brands, like they didn't have to use lead. Yeah. To, why are they using for it? For this insulation. Is it, just, is it a way to cheap out? I think it has to do with um, it, like making it more insulated. But I honestly don't know. And like Stanley like hasn't really explained why yeah. they're using it. So that's. People are criticizing it, saying they shouldn't be using lead. I agree, but I also if you have one, don't like just throw it out because you think I'm you're gonna get lead, lead poisoning because yeah. you're not. Like unless this thing at the bottom pops out, you're completely fine. Okay, yeah, that's so good that's to know. Just like a FYI, I'm also surprised though they don't have to like put some sort of disclaimer or something like when you're purchasing it, like that you can see like yes. contains lead because it does. Yeah spooky that's weird i'm eh? still gonna use mine yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay also a while ago we talked about how auto was gonna potentially be getting a nightmare sounds weird when i say like night nightmare okay yeah you nightmare say, Night, like not nightmare auto is good but to get a nightmare night mayor mayor, mayor. nightmare yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why does it sound weird nightmare. when i say it night mayor night mayor mayor of the night he's the auto is getting a mayor of the night mayor of the and night. they approved it and everything and now if you're interested you can actually apply to be the mayor of the night did you see like w- the candidates for it okay all i saw that was so funny you know the car that like, yeah, drives around that guy you guys know this car Dude, you know which guy. car we're talking if about if you're from ottawa you know this car like the guy i've seen this, it in a while the though car that lights up yeah it looks like a piece of garbage yeah. so like it's all this like it's a christmas tree. tree yeah it's a driving literally. christmas tree he could be the mayor um <laughs> he could be the mayor what about like the to. guy that like the push-up guy downtown or yes, the guy like you yes. give him money to give push-ups who else obviously gerp could be the night <laughs> nightmare i'm trying to think of who else would be a good one who else? but you make a hundred and eleven thousand dollars a year so like that's pretty good can we be the night the mayor's mayors of the night <laughs> the mayors of the night mayors of saturday just saturday we mm. roll up we're like if we could just do saturday that would be sick yeah. yeah so i'm interested to see one who it's gonna be two what they're gonna do honestly we should have one of the candidates on the pod and just be like Ooh. why do you want to be the night mayor yeah <laughs> oh, what are you i gonna like bring? that what are you gonna bring what are you going to bring to the table? What are you Honestly, gonna... Maddie Hattie should be the mayor. She'd be a good one. She'd be good. She knows, she's already, she knows what's up. She's already, she's probably made a lot of revenue for Ottawa just by her like Dude. Instagram. Yeah, literally. She's the Taylor Swift for Ottawa. Like, probably. Honestly. Yeah. People like want to go where she's going. Yeah. She knows where all the cool shit she, is. Yeah. She's She made Ottawa cool. She did. Yeah. She so yeah, if, you, if that's interest you guys, apply. Yeah. <laughs> 100% apply. Um, did you, okay, obviously this is kind of old news now, but Sophia Richie is Pregos. Did you see I that? Know. That's so exciting. So cute. Do we know what the gender is? It's a girl. girl. Yeah. Aww. So cute. They had a really cute like gender reveal too. Like It was, it was just sh- them two, right? Yeah. I That's what it. I would do. Okay, I was going to say, do you think you're going to have a gender reveal? Just for me, Matt and Stark. Me too. And I, I wanted to involve food because I want to eat it. So like, I'll probably do something like cake, cake or, or like donuts maybe donuts because we love donuts and he'll film it oh for sure film it. just, yeah it'll just be it'll just be for us like and i don't know maybe like we'll post it but yeah i don't think i would want like for me i just wouldn't want a bunch of people there no i don't know and that's just like well, i don't want to i don't know i'm gonna be like so pregnant like i don't want to like host everyone and like have to do all this stuff like oh my god hosting no. is so overrated i'm so yeah. over it what would you do honestly we were saying that too i was like i just want it to be us yeah it's very intimate and yeah. then i'll call everyone after exactly yeah, and tell them do you think you would ever like not know the whole time like matt's mom like w- it was no. a surprise for her no. that matt was a boy i need to know my coworker who's really pregnant right now she's going on mat leave next week like I she has buy stuff like i want to buy like clothes I yeah wanna, like, but you can get away them. with so much neutral stuff now i feel yeah. too but still like a little bit of i don't know like the little headbands and bows are like yeah i just feel i just feel like i want to know because then also for the baby shower it's just like easier to be like for like gifts, gifts and, stuff. and stuff yeah i just don't I, think i could wait yeah i i commend you if you can wait till like you're literally giving birth but i just feel like i'm so impatient i'd be like no yeah no i would need to know i need to know yeah and how Ugh. far along do you have to be before you know it's like three months yeah no so, more no, than that no. six months no i should know this <laughs> when can you- i remember camille's was in december and she was pregnant and got pregnant it's like in four May. months i think no wait she had the baby in may 14 
But the sex may be determined by ultrasound as early as 14 weeks. Four, eight, 12, six. So like four months. Yeah. Three and a half four months. Four months. Four months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you think you have a boy or a girl first? I hope it's a girl first, but I don't yeah? care. I hope I have a boy first. Yeah. I think I'd, I'd be happy, honestly, with anything. Happy, healthy just, baby. Yeah. I'd be happy with either one. Yeah. It's, oh, just, I, it's just funny because I like in, in Persian like <clears throat> culture, it's like you you don't always have to do this, but it's. So, for example, me and my brother's name both start with R, Romina Reza. Yeah. Or it's either the names start with the same letter mm. or, like, they kind of have the same sound. So, um, like, uh, like Reza, fa- or Romina. Like, yeah. Farzad, Behzad. Like, they oh. go, like, Zad, Zad. Um, like, so, it, like, kind of goes together. The names kind of have That's to go together. Cool. So, then it's, like, I'm always, like, okay, I really like this name. But then I'm, like, okay, if it's a it's a boy like what name goes with that and then yeah. if it's two girls what names so you can think of like bit, a lot of names i have to think of like the next like few names yeah so, just in case just in case so like, it's like two boys two boys two girls, two girls. Or a boy and a girl yes so it's a lot, a lot of names dang but anyway you have a couple yeah a couple of minutes to decide yeah i found out this weekend as we were talking about this because matt's mom waited and i asked her what matt would have been called if if he was born a girl oh do you want to know what it is yes shelby <gasps> Oh my god, Shelby! Isn't that cute? That's that's um, Peaky Blinders, like the main girl's name. Shel- oh, I haven't seen Shelby. I know two Shelbys. Both are teachers, and they're both lovely. Oh, so I'm like, cute! I love that name. I really Shelby. I, I feel like he he would be a Shelby if he was a girl. <laughs> like I just can picture curly haired Shelby. <laughs> Good old Shelby. Good, Good old Shelby. Shelby Dicky. <laughs> that's cute. Do you know what you would have been called if you were a boy? No, I've never asked my parents that. Okay, I would have been Jacob. Oh my god. Yeah. That's so different Tasha than Natasha, Natasha or Jacob. Jacob. Mm. Mm. Jacob is like a good Jacob Alori. Jacob kind of sounds like a fuck boy though, I feel. <laughs> Jacob. And I hope it was with a C, not a K. Yeah. K is like... K is a no. bit like, come on. No. But yeah, could have been the next <laughs> Jacob Alori. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. I love that. Also, this is kind of old news, but... Um, is this old news? Kim K's new boyfriend? No, I don't know. So. This is pretty new, dude. It is trending right now to date NFL players. I just got to say, Damn. and she's like, "Oh, Taylor's doing it, and she's the most famous person in the world now. Maybe I should do it." Literally, I feel like Kim K's boyfriends represent who's like she's trying to kind of copy at the time, right? Like, I remember she dated Pete Davidson, and it was around the time that Courtney was dating Travis, and it yes. was kind of like that boy who's punk like rock. punk rocky. Mm-hmm. Skinny like, boy, skinny boy, tattoos. yeah. So then she was like with him, she's and then like, it was like, I'm gonna do it. Oh. Now it's like NFL, yeah. So she's actually dating Odell Beckham Jr., yeah. So he plays for the Baltimore Ravens, not related to David Beckham, <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. No, no, but his dad, senior, is also an NFLer. Oh. Right? I think he was also in the NFL. I don't know. You're asking the wrong person. I called yeah, right. this, I called it a Stanley Cup. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we were calling like, yours yesterday, like the punts yeah they're gonna, they're gonna punt it i was like no i was like what is going oh, no. on or like what's his position like the pocket <laughs> yeah i don't know what, what i was saying the pocket oh my uh. gosh <laughs> so we'll see how long that lasts and maybe we'll they'll be on the next season of uh keeping up with the kardashians yes when does that come out i feel like it, they Honestly, drop seasons fast i feel super like super fast and i feel like right now we're in a reality season like lol like i'm like waiting for summer house summer house yeah and like real housewives of beverly hills is still going okay you don't watch Lo- that though no. eh oh my god you should watch Love Watch Island All Stars is really good this season. I gave it up. up. I gave, gave it up. up. Yeah. Yeah. There's too much going on. Yeah. I was like, I'm never going to plan a wedding if I watch <laughs> Love Island year round. Like, I can't. I can't do it. But I've heard it's so good, which it's makes really me really good. sad. But yeah. can't talk about it. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. No, we have so much other things to talk about. Did you hear about Call Her Daddy? It obviously, is not exclusive anymore to Spotify. Okay. Yes. And also, I think Joe Rogan is also not going to be exclusive so as Joe well. So Joe Rogan is the last person the last left one? that was exclusive and his contract's coming up up and i don't think he's going to be exclusive no. anymore either but it's smart for spotify to do that because what they did was they had these multi-million dollar contracts with all these different people exclusive to spotify because once you sign up for spotify you're not going back to apple music you're not Hell going anywhere no. No, so no, it no. was really smart for them to grasp that get yeah. their audience attract who they wanted to through these influencers through these content creators and then almost like lock them in because yeah. now they're not leaving. Like no. they're they're like I have all my playlists on there. I have this and that. Like you're not gonna just switch. No, I'm your with music Spotify platform. for yeah. sure, for sure. So, 
But it's interesting, like, they still continue to do so many layoffs at Spotify. Like, I feel like it's one of those companies, like, since COVID, they've just, like, continuously done these massive layoffs, which is interesting because then they're paying, like, Alex Cooper, like, $60 million for, like, three years. I know. It is crazy. What's going on there? I don't know. But it's still exclusively on video at Spotify for Alex. And they do really like watching... Me my too. Pod, like I love putting it like especially now like with the treadmill I like just like putting it on the TV and like watching me too I really yeah. enjoy watching it too so yeah, yeah she's still exclusively video on Spotify she doesn't do YouTube or anything like mm-hmm. she does like YouTube snippets but yeah. like the full video is exclusive to, to Spotify but yeah I'm interested to see like <clears throat> obviously that's gonna make her podcast more popular people are gonna listen because there was a lot of people that probably didn't listen because they didn't have spotify maybe yeah, yeah. i feel like it definitely will increase her yeah. listeners for sure yeah so let's do some red flags okay because i feel like we didn't do that last episode yes. okay i think it's definitely a red flag if you're still cooking with canola oil or vegetable oil so there's an olive oil shortage coming. Did you hear about no. this? No. What do you this? mean? So this past year in Italy, like they had, there was like a lot of droughts and things like that with the weather, the okay. extreme weathers. And so their olive oil production was super low and people are predicting with more like the climate crisis that's happening because yes. olive trees are like very sensitive to different like climate changes that olive oil is going to be very scarce like in the few years coming up and like Fuck, you, we're already almost expensive not, we're almost not going to be able to buy olive oil anymore like people are saying like it's just like it's we're gonna have thing. to go back to like canola oil soon because it's just olive oil is well, gonna be so ridiculously expensive. I'm gonna expensive. go to coconut oil. Yeah, coconut oil. Is so but good. olive oil, what? Olive oil is my. That's what I cook with. Yeah, or just like a drizzle, like for anything, like salad dressing, like mix it with just like some mustard, some balsamic, like boom, you make your own salad dressing. Like everything, eggs, everything. I use olive oil. I always use olive oil. Yeah, I'm gonna stock up. <laughs> so literally. Oh my god, that's yeah. so devastating. So it's like literally going away. Um, mm-hmm. another one is just not liking salad. So I was watching um, Southern Charm and they were like having a dinner party and one of the characters like was like they were like passing around the salad and he goes, yeah, I don't like salad. (laughs) I'm like, what? Like, that's just such a weird thing not to like. Yeah. Like, he just doesn't like any salad, any type of salad. So do you think it's just like like cut up vegetables or? yeah like would he like them if it wasn't a salad like do you not like it because it's in salad form like would you eat carrots on their own cucumbers on their own tomatoes on their own but then just, just not eat like freaking salad yeah <laughs> like, salads are so good salads are so good right like with some nuts salads. some fruit like some dried fruit like i love dried cranberries in my salad love like oh, any kind like of any, like seeds like, any type of like cheese like feta cheese or like goat cheese or like oh my god i love beets. goat cheese beets oh. don't get us started on beets Don't again. get us started. Oh my those god. are underrated we know that so good that is really weird no yeah. salad grow up grow up and eat your <laughs> grow salad up and eat a fucking salad and with your olive oil okay <laughs> this one if you like to cuddle while you sleep cuddle for like five minutes and then move to the other side like get away from get me. away from me like far like far 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 like i want to be able to do this and not touch you yeah but then I, like i'm down to like, cuddle like a little bit in the morning cut a little bit in the morning cut a little bit before you fall asleep but if you're cutting who's, throughout the whole night how, your neck would be like this like who actually is comfortable doing you're that? you're not sleeping like there's no way like sometimes we're cuddling and i'm like <laughs> my neck hurts like i can't like, no i gotta turn over i'm it's like not, you cuddle me <laughs> it's, yeah it's more comfortable for the boy like the boy if you're just if, sitting there like this. yeah i feel like big spoons more comfortable than little spoon yes right or just like the, the way if the guy is sleeping on their back and then the girl has to like nuzzling like, it's all in the neck it's all it's in the all neck, neck. Like, no i'm sore just thinking about it no so if you guys can cuddle while and fall asleep at the same time that's crazy to me no i just even on love island it's so funny like watching when they go to sleep and that shows like the night yeah and especially because they just kind of met each other recently and they're like cuddling i'm like I would just be like cuddling for like yeah. literally a second and be like move over. Please. And the beds are small. Beds are tiny. You mm. can't cuddle all the way through the night. If you can cuddle all the way through the night, you're lying. I would just be laying there awake, being like, <laughs> Fuck, I hate and then this. also it's like when you're cuddling too, it's like if you're like breathing, it's almost like am I breathing too loud? If you're like, <laughs> or they're like breathing all in your face because their head is like right there and they're just like breathing on you and like I don't want to. I'm don't. so like sensitive to like those kinds of things, no. like sounds, like. St- touch and everything i'm like i can't <laughs> so we were like we're sensitive what to is? sounds i was like Boom. what is that what is that <laughs> it was just the door opening oh. <laughs> oh my god no okay and then the last one too if you're eating and you like let's say you have a chicken breast and some a salad and i don't know some vegetables some or whatever salad. and you like cut up all your meat 
and then you start eating, I feel like that's weird. That is kind of weird, eh? Like, if you have a steak, don't you just cut the yes. steak and eat it? Cut as I go. You wouldn't cut the whole steak like no. a child. Maybe like I would cut like child. one or two, like a cup, like maybe like two bites, you know, and it's like, yeah. okay, just yeah. a second, like, mm mm-hmm. mm. But yeah. you know, I wouldn't cut the whole, whole thing, thing up. up into bites. Size I think that's a little weird. It's I don't weird. know why that's weird, but that's weird. But that's weird. That's yeah. like, that's. That's like walking outside again with a cup of water that's a glass and w- going on a walk. Like, that is weird. That's There's true. nothing. W- it shouldn't be weird because it's just a cup of water. Yeah. But you're like, where's your water bottle? Why do you have a glass? Yeah. Like, you're psychotic. That's weird. That's going to spill all over yeah. you. <laughs> also, I just feel like the longer you take to cut it, it's like, it's getting cold. No. Like, you want to eat it as it is. Eat it. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> so if you fall into these kinds, I love these because it's just like, these are things that we find that are weird. <laughs> yeah. And only us. And people get so triggered by them. It's really funny doing these segments because people are just like, yeah, well, I don't like your ripped pants. Like, yeah. remember last time? Okay, guys, we, I think we get the most like trolls on YouTube. And we yeah. literally posted, it was the license plate one. We made that as like a little clip and people got so triggered that we were talking about license plates being people a red with flag. People with personalized license plate commented being like, don't call our license plate. They're plane. like, what if it brings you joy? Like, wow, you've probably not, never felt joy once in your life because you buy ripped jeans. And, I'm and like, we're like, what? Okay. It's true. I'll put my pantyhose back on and then I'll get, I'll get some more some more love instead of some more trolls. That's so funny. Yeah, no, it's it's funny to see like the comments in different platforms, like on Instagram versus YouTube versus TikTok. It's so different. Yeah, it can be the exact same video and then get such different comments. Yeah, people yeah. get triggered. But people are, oh my God, especially Taylor Swift. We can't be talking bad things about oh Taylor Swift anymore. Oh my god, It's a sensitive topic for people. I feel like we lost some followers over that. <laughs> that's okay. It's okay. Alrighty, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's, that's all we got. That's all we got. That's all we got. And all we ask of you is to vote for us on yeah. the Faces Magazine website. Yeah. Go and vote and make notifs happen. Yep. <laughs> make notice happen and if you're like i don't know where to go wherever you're listening to this on spotify on anchor on apple, apple. go to the description right now and there's a link right there and you literally, literally just you it. just click it you scroll down and it says podcast and it's saturday and you just vote for us please yeah. once Thank a you. day we once a day it. yeah multiple emails yeah <laughs> we, we love, love you guys bye okay. bye